Welcome to Engineers Academy. Subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon to receive the notification for the upcoming videos. I am going to solve a 1298 problem. In this problem, it is given that determine the horizontal velocity V A, right? So at this point, the velocity is only in the horizontal direction, right? of a tennis ball at A so that it just clears the net at B right so here is the net so it has to clear this net right and this the height of this net is 3 feet right and it is said that also find the distance s where the ball strikes the ground right so we have to find this s the distance uh, after crossing the net right so we have to find this distance s as well so now uh, first we have to find the coordinates of this point B. So for that I will define my coordinate system. So if I define my coordinate system, let's say. So let's say that point A is our origin of coordinate system, right? So let's say that if this is my positive Y direction and let's say this is my positive X direction. So the initial position of the ball is at A, right? So this means that X naught and Y naught are zero, right? So we can write that X naught and Y naught both are equal to zero, zero, right? Since the ball is at the origin in the initial position. So now to find the coordinates of this point B. So this point B is at a distance of 21 feet in the X direction. So we can write that the coordinates of this point, point B is 21 and it is at a distance of 7.5 minus 3 feet in the negative y direction right so this point b is this much distance away from the origin in the y direction right so this much distance is 7.5 minus 3 right so this is 4.5 feet right so these are the coordinates of point b and these are the uh, coordinates of the ball at this point b so now if we ap apply the horizontal motion equation right so the horizontal motion equation will be let's say that these coordinates are x b and y b right so x b is 21 and y b is 4.5 and these are in feet remember right so if we apply the horizontal motion equation so then x b will be equal to x naught plus v a x into t right so again uh, v a x so there is no angle right so the initial velocity is horizontal right so this means that x b is 21 so i will write 21 x naught is 0 and v a x is v a v a right since the initial velocity is horizontal right and this will be t and this time will be from a to b right so we will write t a b so this equation will give us the velocity the initial velocity at point a and the time required from a to b right so now from this equation we only know this product so let's say that this is equation a and now if we apply the vertical motion equation so then we can write y so this will be y b these are the final coordinates right so y b will be equal to y naught and then we will have plus v a y into t and this will be minus half g t square so y b we know the y b coordinate which is 4.5 but it is in the negative direction right so we have to put minus sign here right so this is minus so minus 4.5 this is again 0 and as we can see that there is no vertical component of the velocity at point a so this means that v a y is also 0 right so this means that this whole term becomes 0 so we are left with minus this is 1 divided by 2 into g so g is 32.2 32.2 divided by 2 is 16.1 so this will become t square and this t will be again from a to b since we are applying the equation from for point from point a to b right so this will be t a b so this will give us the time required for the ball to reach the net right so this will be t a b so this comes out to be 0 0.529 seconds right so now we can find v a by using this equation a so v a is equal to 21 divided by t a b which is 0 0.529 seconds so the horizontal velocity comes out to be 
39.72 right so this is 39.72 feet per second right so now we know the initial velocity once we know the initial velocity uh, we can find that uh, as distance from the net right so this is 39.72 now again if if i find the coordinates of this point c right so uh, now we will apply these two equations for the motion of the ball from a to c so now as we can see that this c is at a distance of 21 plus s in the x direction right from the origin right so the this is 21 plus s right so we can write that x c coordinate and y c coordinate so x c coordinate is 21 plus s right so this point c is at a distance of 21 plus s from the origin in the x direction and similarly this point c is at a distance of minus 7.5 from the origin in the negative y direction right so i will write minus 7.5 and this is, these are in feet so the coordinates of point c are these right so this is 21 plus s minus 7.5 feet now if i apply the horizontal motion equation from point a to c so again we will write that this will be xc this will be x naught plus vax into t so we know xc so xc is 21 plus s this is xc and x naught is again 0 so this is 0 and va x is va so now we know va which is 39.72 and this time it will be from t t from a to c so now this equation has two unknowns one is s and one is tac so now if i apply the vertical motion equation from a to c so this will be y c will be equal to y naught and again plus v a y into t minus half g t square so y c is minus 7.5 feet again y naught is zero and since the velocity is horizontal initial velocity is horizontal so v a y is again zero and this is minus half g so g is 32.2 divided by 2 so this is 16.1 and this is t square and now this t is from a to c remember right so this is from a to c from a to c so this equation will give us the time required for the ball to reach point c so time required for the ball to reach point c is 0 0.683 seconds Right, so this is TAC and now if we put this TAC into this equation right so this will be uh, and if we bring this 21 to the other side right so this will become minus right so this will be 39.72 into 0 0.683 minus 21 so this will be the distance of the ball after crossing the net right so s comes out to be 6.12 feet so this is the solution of this problem 1298